Hi and welcome to my Team Fortress 2 video in 2023. I did not plan to either play or record a Team Fortress 2 video to be honest, but here we are, so let's see if Team Fortress 2 is a game that is still worth playing in 2023, 16 years after its release in 2007. Time flies and some games come and some games go, but Team Fortress 2 is one of those classic games that has been able to stand the test of time and it has done so very well. If we take a quick look into the Steam player charts when it comes to Team Fortress 2, we can see that it has around 79 or 80k players on average, which is pretty insane in 2023, after all this time. Especially for a game, as said, that is 16 years old, but it seems to kick so many modern shooters out of the water from my perspective right now, just by looking at these numbers. Add to that also that Team Fortress is also on the 19th spot when it comes to the most played games on Steam, where CSGO is still keeping the number one spot with some margin and you realize that Team Fortress 2 ain't going nowhere in the nearby future, at least not down, it has been here to stay for almost two decades now. So why is this game so good and why are people still playing it after all these years? I guess you'll get different answers depending on who you're asking, but I guess most of us at least can agree upon the fact that it's such a good and fun game to play from the bottom and up. As a matter of fact, I haven't played Team Fortress 2 in years, and recently I've had a hard time, especially as an FPS content creator on YouTube, to motivate myself to play some and record some of the newer shooters out there, such as Modern Warfare 2, just to mention one. Because many of them aren't as good and fun to play as some of these classics from the golden era of gaming that I talked about recently in another video. They simply aren't good enough or it has some annoying monetization system in game that you're trying to shove down your throat. I think you know what I mean. Okay, we're not going to talk about that now since it tends to make me somewhat upset. Instead, I want to take a moment to explain how it felt for me to get back into Team Fortress 2 after years of not playing it at all. First off, I started to smile some while playing because I had partly forgotten how fun and almost quirky some of the characters are in Team Fortress 2 and I mean it from a kind of good side of things. But even if that's the case, I was also struck how well the different characters complement each other from a gameplay perspective, since they are all very distinct regarding their different weapons, gadgets, abilities and movement possibilities. I therefore realized how many games after Team Fortress 2 that has tried to more or less copy some of the characters in the game, but also some of the game modes available in Team Fortress 2. In this video, I've tried to play around with different characters and also playing different game modes for the sake of the video. However, even though I haven't spent near as much hours in Team Fortress 2 as I have in some of the other Valve games, I still don't have much playtime when it comes to playing as a spy or a demo man. I don't have anything against these classes, it's just that I haven't really been taking the time to learn them properly, at least not yet. By saying that, I would love to hear from you what character or class you like to play in Team Fortress 2 and also what you think about the game overall. So Valve did not only manage to design the characters well and add fun game modes and most of the time good maps as well, they also realized quite early on the power of letting the community in, like being a part of the game by giving them tools so they can also contribute. I'm thinking for example of community made maps that I came across while playing. Well, mods has a lot to do with it, which we've seen over the years in other games that are treating their players in a generous way, how beneficial it can be for both sides, like a mutual thing between developers, but also the community. So is Team Fortress 2 still worth your time and is it still worth playing in 2023? I feel almost embarrassed over my own choice of title when it comes to this video, but it is a bit of a series that I've been doing for quite some time on my channel where I go back in order to play games that I've played before. So so what is the answer? Well, I think you can guess. It's of course a big yes. Since Team Fortress 2 offers almost perfect controls and perfect balance between the classes and a unique cartoonish style when it comes to graphics that does not run out of time. Even in 2023, the game feels distinct, unique and it has useful class roles that are there for a reason. Has there been any other new classes added into the game? No, because it's not necessary. It's good as it is. I also like that the game doesn't take itself too goddamn seriously due to the goofy characters. This in itself seems to create a more friendly environment compared to some other FPS games out there. 
But even so, the game is challenging, especially as a beginner, but also sometimes for long time bets as well. So it can have a bit of a sweat competitive touch and nerve as well, if that's what you're looking for. Team Fortress 2 is about having fun, either with friends over Discord when playing, or by playing with randoms and maybe making a new friend or two. Team Fortress 2 gets a big and massive thumb up for me also here in 2023, and I will continue to play this game once in a while alongside with some other classics that I rediscovered not too long ago. One of them is Planet Side 2. With that said, I want to say thanks for watching and let me know in the comments what experiences you have when it comes to Team Fortress 2. And if you haven't played the game before, then I highly recommend you to try it out. It's free, it's out there, go and play. Have a great day now and I'll talk to you soon again in another FPS video. Cheers!